Right, another management, Rajiv Agarwal, the CFO of KC International, joins us for his numbers. Uh, uh, Rajiv, morning, good numbers actually, but revenue still down by 7%. Uh, does that change? Uh, margins are improving, obviously, but uh, revenue, do you see it improving for the full year? Uh, good morning, Lata. Actually, our uh, you know, if you look at uh, our uh, uh, margins, margins have improved uh, substantially, and it is in line with the you know, guidance that we have been uh, given uh, uh, to the market. But revenue uh, slightly lower in this quarter by about uh, seven percent. <coughs> mainly, the impact of uh, commodity prices and uh, you know the foreign exchange uh, depreciation of the currency depreciation in Brazil uh, that has impacted the revenue. Uh, uh, during this quarter, uh, the major uh, depreciation of uh, you know currency in Brazil has impacted almost 55-56 crore of uh, <coughs> revenue in the current quarter, oh. and uh, softening commodity prices has impacted our cable uh, revenue because uh, in the cable business, uh, metal constitute almost 70 percent of the cost of production, and you know the benefit of the lower commodity prices have been passed on to the uh, to the buyers. So our revenue uh, has uh, uh, you know uh, gone down. Uh, but for the year as a whole, you know, looking at the current situation of the uh, softening commodity prices and also, you know, currency depreciation in Brazil, so we we are uh, revising our guidance for revenue growth to closer to about 10 percent uh, against uh, what we were earlier guiding to 10 to 15 percent uh, earlier. Okay, so you're revising your guidance lower to 10 percent versus 10 to 15 percent earlier. Um, uh, yeah. Mr. Agarwal, can you tell us what were the orders that you won in Q2 and what is the order visibility like for the rest of the year? Yeah, uh, Sonia, the, we have won about 2,100 crore order uh, in the current quarter in Q2 uh, till date. And uh, in the f full year as a whole, t since January this year, we have already received orders worth about 9,000 crore. So, which is almost equivalent to the year's revenue, and uh, going forward, the visibility is good, and uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, you know huge pipeline of orders coming in from the Middle Eastern <coughs> region. We are uh, looking at uh, good order book, uh, you know, good order pipeline from the power grid also. Power grid in the last one month they have announced uh, 14 tenders, uh, almost uh, uh, aggregating to about 2,200 crore. So, we we uh, clearly see a good visibility of the order inflow in the uh, third and the fourth quarter. Okay. Uh, well, actually, you know, uh, if you put the first two quarters together, you don't still make it to 4,000 crore in terms of revenue. So you will have to grow rather sharply in the second half uh, to be able to achieve a 10% growth, uh, to come anywhere near, say, 9,000 crores in terms of full year revenues. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, we have the order book. Actually, there, there were <coughs> some, uh, you know, impact of the uh, uh, softening commodity prices and some lower execution in the first uh, 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 half year. <coughs> second half year, typically, you know, in the industry, we have the, uh, you know, better uh, execution in the second half. And uh, uh, we, we are confident of achieving uh, closer to 10% of the revenue growth. What is the slightly longer term guidance, Rajiv? Are you seeing things moving in the power space, especially in the TND space? Uh, I mean, Power Grid has been making investments. So does FI17 look better? FI17, of course, looks better. Actually, you know, what has happened in the uh, last uh, uh, three, three to four months' time, uh, there has been a, some slowdown at the power grid level. They were focusing more on the capitalization of their existing <coughs> project. And now one of the uh, uh, very large projects, they have already captured uh, this Vishwana Chirali 800 kV uh, uh, line. They have already capitalized uh, with a cost of almost 12,000 crores. So now we are expecting a good, uh, you know, uh, order pipeline uh, from power grid. Okay, you know, 50% of your revenues comes from the overseas markets, and you did mention that there's quite a bit of, uh, you know, currency depreciation impact in Brazil. Which are the other markets that you have seen a fair amount of slowdown from? And uh, from your overseas market itself, what could the growth be uh, in the latter half of the year? Uh Sonia, I don't think that uh, there is a, any slowdown in the market that currently we are operating in. Uh, we are operating largely in the Middle East, in Africa, uh, 
Mm. And uh, we are operating, uh, apart from India and uh, which is our countries, we are seeing a lot of uh, tender, huge tender pipeline. In fact, particularly in Saudi, <coughs> Saudi, there is a, uh, a tender pipeline of close to about 12,000 crore, which need to be quoted in the next uh, couple of months' time. Mm. Uh, so, uh, despite the lower oil prices, we see uh, you know uh, strong uh, orders pipeline uh, coming in from the Middle East, particularly <coughs> Oman, Abu Dhabi, and uh, Saudi Arabia. Africa is also another reason where you know uh, continuous uh, we are seeing a continuous flow of orders and uh, um, uh, our Mexico has also improved we have currently the order book of close to about uh, 220 odd crore in Mexico where uh, last year we were actually suffering because of the lack of orders and our capacity utilization was low this year we have seen a significant improvement in our SE business and uh, we have turned around in SE with a you know positive uh, uh, EBITDA in the consecutively two quarters compared to the negative uh, EBITDA uh, last year. So Mr. Agarwal, if your order pipeline is strong in most countries, then what was the reason for you to scale down your revenue guidance for the full year? It is largely, uh, Sonia, because of the uh, softening commodity prices that has impacted the <coughs> revenue in cable business and also in domestic business. We have a uh, price variation clause. So price variation clause with the power grid and other domestic orders. Mm. So with the lower uh, commodity prices, we have to pass on the benefit to the customer. Mm. So that has impacted the revenue. And uh, you know, uh, so, uh, so, softening commodity prices, we are <coughs> continuously, we see that uh, we don't see any visibility of uh, commodity prices going up. So uh, in a way, that is also helping us in the international uh, uh, business because there, you know, we can take advantage of uh, the lower softening prices. But on the domestic front, uh, you know, it is impacting the revenue. So that is where, you know, we are uh, guiding uh, uh, the lower revenue growth. Okay. And plus, over and above this, uh, you know, there has been some uh, delay in the conversion of L1 position in the first six months uh, into the firm orders. So that has impacted the revenue for the current year, but uh, we are quite confident of achieving at least, uh, you know, uh, around 10% growth uh, of the business this year. Okay. Do margins improve more? I mean, you've done 7.6. We have done 7.7. .7. This is okay. uh, the highest EBITDA margin <coughs> that we have clocked uh, in the last 14 quarters. Mm -hmm. We expect, uh, you know, uh, to margins to gradually grow up to 8% uh, level by the end of this year. All right, Mr. Agarwal, we leave it at that. Uh, thanks for joining us. That's the word coming in from KC International. They have scaled down their revenue guidance for the year to 10%, and it's price deflation that's really impacting their cable revenues business. But let's uh, go macro no, now. No, no, I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, no, we don't look at the Fed anymore. Uh, they just uh, uh, take the stocks. Uh, uh, at this point in time, you're continuing to see the bank Nifty actually drift lower, and I think uh, Access Bank quite clearly is uh, a spot of bother. Two and a half percent.